Corner, honey. A little private party. They're real nice people. Okay. Come on, let's shoot. Dine Five, four, three, six. Come on, you're out. Come on, Bobby. It's just a friendly game. You get in there and show them what a real paint and varnish man can do. Love to, but I can't do it. My wife doesn't approve. Big boy like you, go on in there and show her. Show your wife. Can't show her, honey. She's in Canadagua. <laughs> Thank goodness. Well, be a sport. What can you lose? I'm a sure. I always lose. But I like to watch. Hey, deal, I kid it, sir. Well, if you're not going to play like a man, let's go, huh? Why well, can't object to a few bucks? That's the least I can. Hey, did you see that? What, honey? That guy there. He switched the dice just as he saw me getting in the game. Wait a minute, mister. You saying he switched? You mean he cheated? That's the guy, that one. Hey. You calling me a cheater? You switched those dice as sure as I'm standing here. Take it easy, old man. You just had a little too much uh, varnish remover, that's all. Yeah, you sure you didn't mistake me for a pink elephant? Listen, I didn't do anything, fellas. Well, he picked up the dice. He switched them out of the money in his other hand. I saw him, I tell you. You were busy watching your own money, but I saw him. Oh, look, mister, we have a nice little open game here. And you come along, you start kibitzing around. You weren't even playing, and you start calling us cheaters. You know, you ought to be sure. I saw it, I tell you. If nobody else sees what goes on around here, there's something fishy. That man's cheating. I think this guy's leveling. If he is, I want to find out. That's just what I'm going to do. Wait, now, let's don't get excited. I don't like sleight of hand shooters. Maybe the rest of you people better get out of here. This gentleman and I will get to the bottom of this. Honey, there's maybe going to be a scramble, so let you and me go dance. Maybe they're going to break up the furniture. Yeah, the last thing I want to do is get mixed up in a fight. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. You saw him cheat, didn't you? Stick around. That lush didn't see nothing. Maybe I had a couple of drinks, okay, but I ain't blind. I wouldn't break up a game for nothing. Just show us those other dice. That's all. Right, mister? Uh, look, Bobby, I'll be waiting with your friends down in the ballroom, huh? All right, everybody, come on, let's get out of here. I want to see what goes. All right, let's have those dice. Look, I didn't mean it to come to this. These are dice that he switched? Yeah. He switched them by putting... <laughs> not to clean it up just yet. 
Looks like the paint and varnish boys painted and varnished the whole town. Enough empties for two coats. Well, you know how conventions are. <laughs> Businessmen away from home, friendly little party. Followed by a friendly fractured skull. If Rogers is among friends, why hasn't one of them come forward and told what happened? Look, lipstick. Yeah, I saw it. Light purple shade. That means a blonde. That points to half the women in America. Here's another one. Darker shade. That means a brunette. That takes care of the other half. No, what I mean is, uh, maybe Rogers got fresh with somebody's wife or a girlfriend. That's broken up a lot of parties. Fast punch in the nose, sure. But the kind of beating Rogers took is usually served in an alley, not in front of witnesses. Who'd you say was registered in this room? Uh, a man named Green. Uh, the police checked it. It's a phony. He registered without any luggage, and in all this convention crowd, nobody seems to remember just what he looked like. Give me a hand with this, will you? You must have uncomfortable chairs here. Why? Somebody's been sitting on the floor. Those rings on the floor are from glasses. Well, they could have rolled back the rug for dancing, and everybody sat around. You make it sound very cozy, but... Those marks aren't from happy feet. Why, what marks? There, on the baseboard. Those little nicks and scars. Why, this whole place was redecorated only last month. Those are dice dimples, mister. They throw the dice against the baseboard to make them bounce. Oh, so there was a crap game going. Do you suppose Rogers was... What is it? Oh, yes, he's right here. For you. Hello? Hello, doctor. He is, huh? What'd he say? Snake. Is that all? Just snake? No, I don't know what it means. You tell the police? Okay, well, if he says anything more, leave a message for me here. I'll be in touch with the manager. Thanks again, Doctor. Where's the hospital? Rogers has been in a traumatic coma. They don't know when he's coming out of it, or if he will. Well, was he able to talk at all? He was in delirium for about two minutes. The only word they could make out was snake. Does it mean anything to you? Snake? No, I can't say it does. Well, if there was a snake in here, he got out with the rats. Hey, what are you doing? I thought so. Why, it's a pair of dice. But what made you look there? There are three places hustlers usually ditch dice when there's danger of a raid. A certain piece of furniture in the bathroom, out the window, or this. Then they're professionals, huh? Cheaters. Well, are these phony? As phony as a 45-cent piece. These are shapes. They're rounded on two sides to make the flat sides come up. These are regular rocking chairs. You think they suckered Rogers into the game and he tumbled? Right into the hospital. Well, what are you going to do? All dice players talk to the dice, but I know one who gets answers, and I got a few questions to ask. <laughs> My advice is to not even use these in the home for the blinds. They are very crude work, and are good only against very drunk sportsmen wearing heavy gloves. Is that local work? Could be. I think it's Western. Shapes like these are very popular around L.A. and Vegas. Also in Walla Walla. Do you know a hustler by the name of Snake? Snake. Snake. I have several very close associates who fit the description, but uh, none who would answer to the name. <laughs> Who's working the hotels these days? This for the bladder? No, no, I'm making my own case. Well, there's a team playing a convention. Oh, any idea who they are? Mike, as you know, I have for some time been retired from dice shooting. The story on the street, however, is that uh, there's a lot of action going at the Hotel Balafonte. That is, there was, until some chump started to squawk and I had to beat his roof in. I want to know who was running that game. Must be from out of town, I don't know. And if those dice you brought with you came out of that game, I'm glad I don't know. But you could find out. Okay. Have you any idea where they'll operate next? Sure. Wherever the sucker money is thickest. What conventions are in town? It was a seed growers convention at the Adley Stratford. Yeah. And at the Billington House is a conference of United States Marshals. That you may lay six to one they will not attend. <laughs> and at the General Beauclair, the North Atlantic kitchenware salesman. I don't get with these seed growers. They sound like they bring their wives. Now, if I were still in business, I would set up at the General Beauclair. These sales conventions, you know, they hand out big bonuses. Fine. Well, if I'm going to get into this crap game, I better practice up. You got a pair of dice? I mean, that aren't gaff.
room number? Yeah, we're on the next floor. Well, now you get everything. Here's your badge. Do these guys sell frying pans or wear them? Yeah, they're big enough. I hope they're bulletproof. See, what'd you do with the rod? What rod? I threw one in the river. Was it yours? Mine? I never owned one in my life. Besides, I wanted it off a guy. Now, you remember the signals, the ones all the hustlers use? You mean this? That's right. This means yes. And this <coughs> means no. No matter what the guy is saying that's doing this, this means ah. Uh -uh. I got it. Oh, uh, you sure you spotted the hustlers? Oh, I tagged them all right. They're down the cocktail lounge. I don't know who they are, but they're pretty hungry. They're on the prowl. This kitchen where clam bait fools tomorrow. This is the only chance I have to get into a game. What's to worry about? You just play it the way I told you. Flash your big wad at the bar. Talk a little loud, see? Act a little drunky. You'll get logged, all right. Say, wait a minute. Why take a chance? If these are the guys you think they are, why not pick them up on suspicion? Because we've got no evidence. Unless Rogers can talk, the only thing that can convict them is a confession. Oh. Hey, how are you going to get into this game? Oh, I give the high sign. I cut myself in. I claim I spotted you first. Suppose they try to freeze you out. Oh, they wouldn't do that. That ain't ethical. Hiya, kids. Meet up with Wally. Oh, he's pretty. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Hey, I see you in the kitchen where I like, too. Yeah. Just call me, uh, Crandall. Charlie Crandall. Chuck? What do you sell? Uh, Hartford. Oh, Wally, I want you to meet, uh, Ed. Oh, yeah. I'm Jack Wiggins of Wilmington. Hey, what are you, Jack? It's up for you. Oh, thanks. You know, the bar was closed. This little lady came along just in time to say, where are Oh, where are we? Down the hatch. Down the hatch. I see it. Maybe you saw me in last Tuesday's meeting, Wally Hagen. Wally, what? Wally Hagen, sure, you made a beautiful speech. Now, when the Donald McWinkle award, I sold more double boilers than anybody in the state of Maine. Well, I'm oh, glad you came on. Oh, I'm not. Hey, what's she doing? Snooping. You never can tell what the people had room before you might have left behind. <laughs> Look, I already found a collar button. Very oh, useful. Very you need that good. about as much as you need a hockey stick. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Now look what I found. Hey, more bloodshot eyes to see me with these dice. So uh, how's you leaving those behind? Honey, <laughs> show me how they work. They don't work, baby. You throw them and you bet that you make a seven. If you don't, you roll them and you make a bet that you make your number before you roll this ass, something like that. Ah, that's the simplest game in the world. Very simple. It sounds fun. Let you and me play. Well, <laughs> it's a long time since I rolled the bones. Oh, now we got to bet. Um, I'll bet you five dollars against him. Against the kid. My five dollars? Yeah, yeah. How can I lose? Ah, hey, I'll tell you what now. Now, let's make this all nice and legal. I'm sorry. We'll make it nice and legal. You gotta throw them up against the baseball. Yeah, let's go. That's the way it is. Yeah, yeah, just make them bounce. That's all. Hey, what do you know? He's seven. How about that? I declare I lost. Hey, hey, Wally. I'll bet you can't do that again with money on the floor. Well, here's ten dollars. Says I can't. Okay, you That's got a bet. And I'll tell you what else. I'll bet you ten more that you're wrong. You got it. Okay, now let them roll. Out the way we used to do it in Bangor. Come on, babies. <laughs> four and four, eight. Oh, gee, that's tough. That's okay. I'll make the eight. Give me those eyes. Okay, I'll get them for you, Wally. <laughs> Just polish them up. <laughs> I'll bet you $10 to make it interesting that you can't make that eight. I hate to take your money. Okay, it's a bet. All right. Here we go. Come on. Well, uh, seven. I'm seven. He won. <laughs> uh -huh. He lost. I'm just going to pretend he won. <laughs> well, hey, wait a minute. Well, you were you are hot. It might come back again. You talk to me. That's a big, big no, joke. Hey, 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 I'll know. Like some guy. Uh, hey. You fellows have sure done a job on my bankroll. What's the matter? Uh, you still got some money, haven't you? Just about enough to get back to Bangor, and that's about all. I'm not leaving till tomorrow night. 
I'd like a chance to get even with you fellas. Oh, well, sure, Wally. Of course. It's only square, ain't it? Um, how about sometime later this afternoon? Okay. Okay. You know, look at it. It's breakfast time. We haven't even had any sleep yet. Yeah, my <laughs> stomach thinks my throat is cut. Well, good morning, gentlemen. Yeah. I just can't understand it. You can't understand it. I bend every effort to sharpen you up to take these hustlers, and what happens? You go to the cleaners like a Sunday suit on a Monday morning. Did you see that snake ring? These are the guys that roughed up Rogers, all right. And don't worry about the dough. I'll get it back. That'll be the day. You don't think they will be there this afternoon, do you? They will have been in a train for Chicago for some time by then. I said I'll get it back. Not with such a performance like I have just seen. I do not wish to claim you as a pupil of mine any longer. There is no excuse for such behavior. We had better shoot us back in the third grade. You embarrassed me. <laughs> More than somewhat. Shh. Step into my office and I'll tell you something. Hey, four o'clock, you're right on time to cut the cake. Hey, anybody seen that sucker? No, he's probably still asleep. And that's true, even when he's awake. <laughs> hey, how about that chucklehead? Even when we want him to throw a couple of passes, he misses. <laughs> hey, I wonder what that Donald McWinkle award was. It should have been a new head. <laughs> now, listen, I don't want this guy waking up with any regrets. No squawks this time, so I ordered a couple of bottles of champagne. You take them up to him, Donna, huh? Our compliments. Tell him we'll, uh, we'll see him sometime this afternoon. Huh? <laughs> he thinks. Leave the boob to me. I've got my glamour back. <laughs> I'll get it. The bucket of bubbles is here. Here you are, sir. Shall I open it, sir? No, it's all right. We'll take care of it ourselves, huh? Here you are. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry, sir, but... I'd rather not take this. <laughs> What's the matter? Not enough? Well, I'd just as leave you right to tip me on the check. Okay, Jack, get it's your own way. Yeah. Well, can you beat that? Yeah. Good United States currency and the guy throws it in my face. How about that? Well, throw some in my face. I want to go down to the beauty parlor and get it fixed. <laughs> Give her another couple of bucks, she can get a new face. Oh, honey. <laughs> While you're at it, 80 bucks would just about wrap up a new dress I saw down in the lobby. Count it. Make sure it's 80. Oh, I'm sure it's all... Oh. Oh, I'm awfully sorry, Mrs. Ballard. I almost forgot. That dress, I'm afraid I'll have to take it back. Well, there was a slight rip in the hem, and we can't sell it until it's been mended. Now, if I return your money, I'm sure you'll understand. No, I don't understand. Listen, sister, my money's as good as anybody else's. Hey, hey uh, miss. Keep the change or buy yourself a mink coat. Hey, thanks, mister. It's very generous, I'm sure. Thank you very much, but if it's all the same to you, I'd prefer you put it on your bill. Uh, what do you mean they wouldn't take your money? Since you're a guest in the hotel, we better charge it to your room. Hey, Nick, what gives here? I'm downstairs getting a manicure, and the chick won't take the money. She looks at this door and tells me to put it on the tab. What are you paying this off in? Streetcar transfers? You know what that Jane in the dress shop did? She wouldn't take your money either? She looked at it and took the dress back, said it needed mending. Bit in her eye, and I told her there was nothing wrong with the dress. And then she said, well, maybe not with the dress. <laughs> good United States bucks, huh? What's good about them? You can't spend them. So what's the matter with this stuff? It's OK to me. You think it's hot? Nah. Well, something's wrong with them. I don't know. It looks kind of funny. They look too green. The thing that's beginning to look too green to me is us. Even if this stuff was homemade, that chump would never know it. That is, if he is a chump. Wait a minute. All during the game, he was making change. Changing his dough for ours. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That dirty, rotten chiseler. 
What a scrimy way to shove phony dough. You know, this is counterfeit. No wonder he was winning. He was selling it to us. Yeah? We'll see about that. Come in. Okay, Wally. Give us our dough back. Gentlemen. I thought you won all my money. Don't give us that, mister. You were just trying to make change. You couldn't win because you were trying to lose. Well, why don't you want to keep your winnings? Because it's phony, just like you. Who says so? I'll tell you who says so. The manicurist downstairs, the room service waiter, the dame in the beauty shop, and the manager of the dress shop. Where did they see it? When we try to spend it, you phony. Spend it? You mean pass it, don't you? All those people could appear as witnesses against you. You know that, don't you? This guy sounds federal to me. You're not from the T, are you? No, I'm just a private investigator. And I? What's your pitch? I'm working for the insurance company that covers the Belfont Hotel. All I want from you is an admission that you committed assault and battery on a man named Rogers. Sure, we worked them over. You want to see how... Call it, Dutch. Just don't figure. Supposing we don't admit it. My friend Boots, or Charlie, as you called him, doesn't look like a treasury agent, does he? He sure don't. Are you sure he isn't? Look, he gave me the office. I thought... Hold it. I still don't figure. Why would you want to trade off a 10-year federal rap just to get a conviction on a misdemeanor, huh? I told you I'm working for the insurance company, not the government. He's got us. Okay, so what do we do? Sign these, each of you. Okay, Dutch. No details. Just say it's how we gave this guy Rogers the lumps. Make one out for yourself, too, you chisel. Okay, mister. Now, how do we know that you're not going to turn us in for pushing that dough? Why should I? What's wrong with it? What do you mean, what's wrong with it? You just admitted it was queer. No, I didn't. That was your idea. What about them other jokers, the ones that wouldn't take it? Wouldn't they? Maybe I asked them not to. Then what about this guy, Charlie? You said he was a treasury man. No, I didn't. I said he didn't look like one, and he doesn't. Oh, you're no good double-crosser rat. I knew this was a phony. There's your confession. Okay, wise guy, we did beat up Rogers. Now you try and prove it when you get out of the hospital. No. Oh. You want some, Nick? Now go ahead, mister. Have your fun. There's your case. Wouldn't have stood up in court anyway. But you will, because you've just admitted in front of a witness that you beat up Rogers. Oh, well, we did, huh? You heard everything? I certainly did. Okay. So we take a, an assault and battery for him. They make you feel like a real big man? Oh, I forgot to tell you. Rogers died a couple of hours ago in the hospital. You just confessed to a nice, big, fat homicide. Yeah. Do not leave. The city is sending a limousine. Look what I won in a crap game. Well, this part I do not wish to be present. So with your kind permission, I'll retire from active participation in this affray. Hold it. That money you won in the crap game last night, you know, was mine. Oh, sure, sure. I was going to return it to you. I just forgot. <laughs>